low future interest and uh, we're on our second to the last uh, video lecture of this series and we are in this uh, key area of responsibility communication okay so i know this has been introduced to you during your fundamentals of nursing or in your english subjects uh, communication so this is very important for a nurse um, because this is the way you convey your message with your patients with the treatment team and this is a very important competency because basically of course uh, if i may just mention you need to learn how to uh, read verbal and nonverbal cues um, uh, you should know how to use resources when necessary in communicating and uh, you should know how to respond to patients and uh, group uh, or family needs and effectively using uh, technologies to facilitate communication as this uh, same uh, uh, states okay so also in communication uh, in, in your profession as a nurse this is very important because um, uh, just in, in terms of having different patients you'll be meeting different personalities okay not only patients but including their SOs or their significant others your colleagues have different personalities also so you must master that communication uh, or in, in general how to deal with different people okay with different colleagues with different patients so communication is very very important and as i mentioned communication is very important because this is the way you are going to convey your message especially messages about your patient about the condition of the patient and to have proper communication to to effectively implement um, uh, quality patient care as a team so what are the core competencies under this uh, key area? So number one is to establish rapport with patients or to build a rapport, to build a relationship, a professional relationship for that matter um, with the significant others, with the patient and members of your team. Okay, so what are the indicators that you have this core competency? You create um, trust and confidence to uh you you gain also not only create but you also um gain the trust and confidence of your patient and you also show a okay, trust and confidence to your patient uh, you listen attentively so you're not only a good speaker but also a good listener okay as uh, uh a um, what's this empathic nurse okay uh, would uh, manifest Okay, so you listen attentively to clients or patients' questions and requests. Uh, spends time with the client to facilitate conversation that allows client to express concerns. So if you have, we hope, okay, with the ratio of nurses and patients, we hope that you we have time, uh, and you future nurses have time also, okay, to hear, to listen, okay. To your patients to visit them at bedside and talk to them converse with them and number two identifies uh, verbal and non-verbal cues okay? maybe verbal cues are are uh, not so challenging okay? especially on how they deliver their thoughts their messages especially patients and SOs and yes sometimes even our colleagues but uh, what is really challenging and expected us being a nurse is to interpret properly okay? properly interpret non-verbal cues okay and uh, aside from interpreting it is validating it because non-verbal cues uh, also convey messages okay but it should be proper uh, properly interpreted okay then third utilizes formal and informal channels yes when you say if channels this is the way you can take it uh it can be with
good use of uh, visual aids and other more methods of communication. Okay, so it depends on the the case of the patient, the situation of the patient. Okay, one good example here is for patients who are hard up of speaking. It's a precondition, for example. So uh, you may use uh, whiteboard or figures uh, with with basic uh, activities of daily living like grooming, um, eating, which or eliminating, which the patient will only point out to the speechers to convey what they want for their request. Okay, and. Um, uh that's one way okay of utilizing uh, informal channels that is also uh, very helpful for the patients okay making use of available visual aids then for it is uh, responding to needs of individuals family group and community okay so we provide reassurance through therapeutic touch warmth and comforting words of encouragement okay not false reassurances but therapeutic reassurances okay not giving false hopes but positive and um, this is a uh, therapeutic reassurances okay then if you're nervous you should be wearing this all the time your smile okay your smile and uh, if if uh, the case arises, be composed. Okay, be composed. Then fifth, uh, uses appropriate information technology to facilitate communication. So you, you use uh, telephones, mobile phones, emails, and internet and informatics. Uh, this depends on your institution uh, or where you work on or, or uh, work in. <laughs> And uh, if they use uh, emails, if they use mobile phones, uh, it's a very good way of communicating. Uh, I know one hospital uh, with regards to laboratories, laboratory results and diagnostic results, um, the patient may get the results to, uh, um, what's this, to emails or to text with links that when you click it, uh, you will receive a PDF of your results. So you may choose not to go there physically to get the physical results, but uh, you can use that, okay? So that is very helpful. Then identify significant others so that follow-up care can be obtained. So this is like, who are the family members who can uh, be reached when uh, such need is, uh, or uh, exigencies is needed, okay? Uh, who is the nearest family member for the patient for follow up, okay? Or for monitoring. Then provides holding or emergency numbers of the services, okay? And this is a very important one so that your uh, patients may also reach you or may reach the uh, proper authorities, proper personnel. In, in depending uh, on their uh, situation, okay? So uh, I think this is the end of the core competencies and indicators of key area of responsibility communication. So remember, as a future nurse, smile. Okay, this is your email of your online nurse educator. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.